play by Bennett, unfortunately, for the Red Claws, though. It ends up in the hands of Williams, who now drives in with a left hand. Got it. Ola Kibe back to Williams. Scoochie Smith with 10 on the shot clock to Williams. Williams, a lot of contact, no foul call, but lays it in for two. Though I could imagine if they got Patrick Ewing or Hakeem Olajuwon too, because they had a pretty good range from that mid, mid range. I remember watching Patrick Ewing drain that 15-footer. Allen with it, top of the key, gets a high screen from Devin Williams, tries to pass it back to Drew Barn. Ball deflected and stolen by Williams. Here's Thornton. Wants to drive in, nothing there. Finds Scoochie Smith, trailer three is good. Be short a rebound and shot out of a cannon is Williams. Corey Williams off the glass, and there is our 16th lead change of the night. Got to imagine the Celtics are very happy to see his progression this year. As Williams, a lot of contact, throws it off the glass count, and he has been the man tonight. Now 16 points, eight rebounds. Here's Gordon. Down low, Williams is fouled and lays it off and in for two. Williams. Goes right side. Jones inside, Williams to Hamilton, left side, open look for three, got it. Big shot there, lead back to six with 90 seconds to go on the third. Uh, moved to them, over the head, errantly into the opponent's hands. And Williams is fouled and lays it in. Wow, what a shot there, he is strong. On Anthony Bennett, something to look at as Devin Williams is quickly up. Some uh, ugly looking foul shots. And Peek dribbles it away and quickly up the floor. Got it to go as Hamilton, I'm pretty sure, threw it off the rim for the dunk. He'll spin outside of Williams, crosses over. Corey Williams with a one-handed 10-footer, and it rolls in.